the mark was brought in for the reason I'll go through it. The only reason that you can um, take the mark is obviously from a kick out. Has to be a clean catch. Has to go over the 45. Now, the player can catch it here in his stomach or up over his head. Once it's a clean catch, on or past the 45, and then the referee will blow the whistle. All okay with that? All right, so take the free kick. Now he can has two options. One, he can either take the free kick, or the second, he can either play on immediately. Okay. What is a clean catch? This is where we'll go into it now. Definition of a clean catch, to gain control of the ball with the hand in a way which prevents the ball from falling to the ground. All right, that's just the definition of a clean catch. These are just some examples of clean catches. Fairly self-explanatory. All right. Now, during the pre-season, what we done was we actually trialed this at third level educational college games. So these are actually games that were played, we'll say, in November and December. And what happened was we actually used the mark as part of one of the rules. Okay. Mark award. Fairly simple. Once he catches outside of 45, the referee will blow for the whistle for the mark. Okay, happy with that? Fairly simple. Once he takes control of the ball every time outside of the 45 and he, ca and he, he gains control of the ball and it's a clean catch every time. All right? Now we'll just go into ones where you wouldn't have a mark that would be similar to, we'll say, our mark, if such. Obviously, that's not, doesn't take control of it. Clean catch. All right. He doesn't catch the ball cleanly. He flicks it down to someone else. The other person catches it, not a mark. The man that flicked down the ball, he's the person that should have caught the, he's the lad that should have taken the mark. Options. He has two options. One is to take the free. The other is to play on immediately. So we'll just go through some, of, some clips on that. Now, the referee will blow the whistle when the free kick is awarded, all right? It has to be taken from the hand, from the player that catches it, but he has five seconds to take it. And the players have to be 13 metres away, all right? So it's important just to think that that five seconds, so it's not like, as we have, uh, we'd have certain players down at home in leash where they could take 20 seconds to take a free, he has five seconds to take it, so I'll just say for argument's sake, Michael Murphy catches the ball. He has to take it within five seconds. If he doesn't take it within five seconds, he's breaking the rule and it's a hot ball. All right? But we'll go through it. A lot of the questions are going to be covered at the end of this session anyway. And if there's an injury to a player that catches the ball, well, then he can give the ball to another player, but he can't score from it. The only player that can score from a catch is the actual player that catches the ball. But I'll, we'll go through some clips anyway and I'll show you. 
The other one is you can either you can play on. All right. This is where if a player catches the ball, he can play on immediately. The whistle will be blown, but he can play on. He can either hand pass off the ball or he can kick it off. Okay. These are some just examples of. If, if I may just add just a, a very small point to what Morris said. When the player makes the catch, if he's taking a free kick, he must stop to signify that he's taking a free kick. So if you can see in this one here, you see the player actually stops. He clearly stops. So he's now taking a free kick, and he must now take a free kick. Okay. Play on. With the way the game has gone at the minute, um, you're not going to get too many marks in the game, to be honest with you. I done a game last Saturday, Roscommon were playing Kildare. There was no marks in the first half. There were three in the second half. Do you know what I mean? It's all short kickouts. It seems to be all short kickouts. Yes, they were all called. Because what Ross Common done was, I was just saying at the pack, they brought in a big fella midfield in the second half. He caught all three balls and he had a goal goal every time. <laughs> and it's just important too that when he takes the catch that the other the opposing player retreats thirteen metres. Okay. It's brought up. It's brought up, yeah. And if it's brought up, right, just if it's brought up, it's another free, it's a different type free, so therefore another player can take that free. Does that make sense? Yeah, it becomes a normal, yeah, it becomes a normal free then, correct. Yeah. Just, uh, I, I think this one here is, is a good, yeah, good example. Well. Just, just yeah. that, that the players realise that they can also play on by taking a kick. You know, so if somebody obviously stops, then he's taking a free kick. But if you take that instance there, that player didn't obviously stop. He kept he kept moving, but he played on with a short kick. So he can he's still entitled to play on with a kick. That's important for for the players to realise. He's still he, he, you know and, and we would have seen that very much at the college games where the player made the catch, played on, and just took a little punt kick, maybe even 10, 12 metres to a player who was close to him. But if he's obviously stopping, then he's got to take a free kick and that free kick must travel 13 metres at a minimum. And are you, are you envisaging the like of that player to nearly put him for open areas? Uh, yeah. yeah, you could. You, you, yeah. you, you, you could. You, you, you could. could. It, it would have yeah. been It would have been very severe, Alan, but yes, you could. Yeah. But yes, you could. <laughs> yes, you could. If, if the player makes the <coughs> catch and takes six steps in making up his mind what he's going to do, then, then it's a free. he's over carrying. Yeah. 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 yeah, absolutely. Can I ask you, at what point is that But, but, but they're unable to challenge anyway, Rob, you've got to remember. No matter what, they can't challenge. You know, and, and certainly that's something that we would have seen in, in, in the third level games, exactly yeah. what you are seeing here, in that the player Has immediate, and, and he does, and he did. And I suppose that was one thing that we saw at the third level college games, where they were, they were well versed in the rule, Rob, and they were very disciplined, in that once the catch was taken, they stepped back. Whether whether the, the player from Carlo was going to play on or take a free kick, the UCD player was immediately stepping back anyway. Either way, you have to give him room. Either way, you have to give him room. You, you can't tackle him within his four steps. Okay. And you can't prevent him taking a free kick. Okay, you, you don't have to give him room if he's playing on. You don't have to give him no. room, no. But no, you no, can't if challenge him. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fouls. We go now this way, will. Talk about the fouls that happens. So he goes to take the f and then it, he knocks it away. So it's brought 13 metres. 
and then either he can take it or another player can take it. Is that all right? Or from the ground, yeah, correct. And in that instance, actually, it was a different player. Yeah, it was a different player that actually took the free. That one is where he actually caught the ball. So from where he took the mark, he kicked it. But the other, his own player, was too short, was too close to him. So the free was reverted back to the other way. Do you know what I mean? So it's just a normal play. If you have a free and he's too near to him, it's just a free the other way. Free to the opposition. All right? That's one where he's probably taken too long to make his mind up to take the free. That's what I'm saying about going back to the Michael Murphy one where he doesn't have all day to take the free, he just has five seconds to take the free. Injury. I spoke about this one already where a player catches it and he's brought down, he's injured, then someone else can take it. Now obviously in this scenario, he doesn't have to take it within the five seconds. Do you know what I mean? You have to see, make sure that the player is okay. Okay. Questions? How does the referee award a mark? Obviously we said by blowing the whistle. Okay. To be awarded a mark, does the catch have to be from a player's own kick out? No, no matter who catches the kick out outside of 45, a mark should be awarded. All right? How does the player signify to the referee that he is availing of the free kick? He obviously stops playing. Now, this is the issue where some of the players, some inter-county players, because I've spoken to a few teams already on this, and they've all said to me, I said, why don't you tell us when to stop? Do you know what I mean? So we're only there as referees just to blow the whistle. It's up to them then whether they decide whether they want to either one, take the free, or two, play on. All right? How long has the player awarded the mark to take the free? No longer than five seconds. If the player awarded the mark delays for more than five seconds, what is the penalty? The mark shall be cancelled and a throw, a throw in between the players are hop on. How far do players have to be from the free kick? All 13 metres. <coughs> what happens if a player from the opposing team attempts to block within 13 metres or interferes with a player who, is, who has chosen to take a free kick? We've just spoke about it, free 13 metres more advantageous. What happens if a teammate plays the ball within 30 metres of the free Kick awarded for the mark. We've already said it's a free the other way. All right. If the player awarded the mark is injured in the process, what is the award? Any teammate may take the free kick from the hands, but he may not score directly. All right. That's important. That's the only person that can score from a free, from a, a mark, is the player that catches the mark. Okay. What is the award if a player who is taking the free kick following an injury to his team scores directly? The free kick is cancelled and a throw-in ball is awarded. All right. When the player awarded the mark decides to play on, when may he be tackled? He may be tackled after four steps, come back to your one, or once he plays the ball in any way. Is that all right? So if he catches the mark and he turns around and he hops it, he can be tackled straight away. All right? What is the penalty if a player who has chosen to play on is illegally challenged? A free kick shall be awarded at the point at which the illegal challenge is made. Okay. That's it. Any questions? It's fairly self-explanatory. We won't really know what it's going to be like in fairness until come February, when we have the league matches kicking in. 
Um, I can see it myself that obviously you're bringing back in the skill of the catching. And obviously you're going, what you're going to do is you're going to cut out where a lad catches a ball in the middle of the field, comes down and there's 10 lads around him. We're ready to now you can blow the whistle and they're all gone away. Yeah, it will be interesting, like you know, to see what where different teams. As I said, you going back to the match I done last 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 Monday, last Sunday, where Roscommon played Kildare, and Roscommon changed their tactics in the second half. The whole game, the whole game changed. Do you know? Now I know there's only three marks, but still they were catching the ball and putting the ball in on the full forward line. In the college games, I think they were nearly a lot more respectful towards the mark uh, in that when we blew the whistle, they all went away straight away. Yeah. It might be different now. It could be different at inter-county level. Yeah. not saying that it will, but... Yeah, no, absolutely. Morris, yeah. Morris is right about that. Uh, it, it was very difficult to say that there was a change in tactics. What we were seeing, maybe a little bit more than what Morris talked about in that particular inter-county game, I think we, we... Not that I think we did over the number of games we analysed it was an average of seven marks per game. Mm. And it more or less split 50-50 as to whether they stopped or played on. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's hard, hard to know how it goes. Just before, and, and, and obviously if you have, have questions, uh, Morris, I know, or, or myself, we'll, we'll take them. Just, just one point, I suppose, if, if you don't mind me adding to Morris's presentation, <coughs> there was a... There was a clip there where a uh, UCC player, player in red, knocked the ball up into the air and then the caught DCU player again. caught the ball behind him. And as Morris made the point, that wasn't a mark because it was touched in the air uh, by, by the other player or where it's broken down, clearly broken down by a player. We envisage a situation where you know, two players go for, for, a, for a ball and both players get their hands on the ball and one mm. of them catches it. You know, if you can just imagine two players actually attempting to catch it. And even though the opposing player may have touched it and more than likely will touch it as they challenge for it, that will be adjudicated as a mark, as a clean catch. So it's, it's the obvious touch in the air, like you saw, as we say, that UCC one which was flicked on or the um, one where, where it was actually broken down. They're the obvious touches in the air that a mark will not be awarded, but where two players are challenging fairly and squarely for the ball, and you know one fella catches the ball, even if the other fella is trying to break it or also trying to catch it, it'll be uh, the mark will be awarded. If you're going back to them, I think they were early enough in in it. Um, Sean? Sorry, Sean. Yeah, so I get to hear my. Yeah, right. a, a player effectively breaks it to himself, himself is fine. Yeah. And you scroll on me. It's where yeah. it, yes, yeah. absolutely. And we might just look at those couple of clips because they're good ones. Um, that these one. are, I think I think it's sort of the next section, Morris. I think are the yeah these ones here now. Yes, these are the ones. Yeah. So that player, okay, he just touches it, but he touches it to himself. The next one is probably even a better one, Morris, where the player actually knocks it up in the air. And catches it, yeah. And catches it. Mm. Probably one of the ones you're saying, perhaps that two hands touched that. Touched, very mm. possibly touched that. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. No, 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 no. no. Same, same lad, lad, same lad, yeah, tipped man, yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and and if the blondie haired guy who who's coming into the picture, if he caught it, this guy, that wouldn't be a mark. Yeah. You know, so just maybe flick on there again, Morris, if you don't mind, please. And I think the next, uh, yeah, well, there's one just where two fellas are going for the ball. Probably the player in white touched that one. Just go on to the next section, Morris, if you don't mind, please. I think it's the, I think it's the next section. There's another couple of uh, good examples. Not that one. Not that one. That's where the ball bounces. Yeah. This this one here now, where the player breaks the ball. You know that's and broken by by one DCU player to the other. 
and then the next one, Morris, is the one where the UCC player touches it in flight. He can shadow Rob. Is he expected to move? You know those that UCD clip, for example, they turn their backs and run away. I don't imagine that's going to happen in this county level. Mm. But we, we, we'll see, but yes. <laughs> no, what the, what the rule... No, it's, very, it's a very fair question, Rob, and, and, and at the end of the day, you know, <coughs> today, today is about coaching, and, and uh, you know, this... I will say, I think this is going to be key. Well, not key, but coaching of this, Rob, is going to be important. And we don't envisage players turning their back. No, no, we don't. We, we envisage, we envisage, I think what we envisage, yeah. Morris, if a player makes the catch and he's making his four steps and about to pop it to Alan, the guy is going to be shadowing, shadowing him. him yeah. He's going to be shadowing him. But if we yeah. jump together and you catch it, I'm not going to, like, am I under any obligation to let you take your four steps? Like, can I stand where I am and you have to run around me? Yes. I yes. Don't have to get out as long as you don't do that or something yeah. like it. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I, can, I can basically be on top of you until I'm ready to make yes. a Correct. Yes. better yes. Yes. Yeah. And, and I, what, what I think will happen in that instance, Rob, is you will actually force your opponent to take a free kick. Yeah. Because, yeah, exactly. because he'll say, Jesus, this fellow's on top of on me top and of me. was on top of me the last <laughs> time. I didn't get a comfortable pass away. He's actually going to stop and take a free kick. Like we, cer we certainly saw, uh, and, and I suppose because that's not a mark, it's probably not a great example to have running there, but we certainly saw, for want of a better way of putting it, extreme discipline from the players. They respected each other in that if Morris made a catch, he had four steps or he would take a free yeah. kick, and I did step back from him. I can't see that happening at inter-county level. I can't, personally. And I'd say what will happen is, just going back to that match, on the way they were able to, to tweak it for themselves to change the game ever so slightly, do you know, but uh, on a whole, on a whole, like you're talking, what, six, seven marks in a game, can't see it being a huge, huge difference to the game. Yeah. The line probably isn't even marked properly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he awards it, and then there's uproar, and next thing he's moving his ball with 30 metres, and there's more uproar. I don't know, I mean, are we confident that the referees down the lower end are confident they're going to be able to make patient of this? Well, I'm hoping that they are, because we're going around to all of the counties and we're and to all of the club referees, as you call them, and we were showing them the exact same presentation and we were all on call, I suppose, isn't it, Pat? Yeah. For any of them to call us if they need any advice on it, which we don't mind if it's for the betterment of the game, we're happy to take the call. But I can see your point exactly where you're coming from and the issue that, you're, that I'm going to say to you is probably consistency on it. And in fairness, I don't think it's, I'm hoping that it's not a big rule change as regards consistency. It's fairly black and white. And the biggest problem is, I think, from your side of the thing is, did he catch it inside or outside the 45? But you're, you're saying that you don't see it being that much of a difference at inter-county level because of the proliferation of short kickouts, and that will still be yeah, the case. Yeah, that will still but be the case. That's not really the case at club. It's still kind of very yeah. much more agricultural is. in terms of... Yeah, yeah, long ball. Long yeah, 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 yeah. Correct, yeah. It, it's, it's like from, from a, a refereeing point of view, and as Morris has said, we are visiting all the club referees. The vast majority of them actually were done before Christmas. There's a few counties still to be done. It, it, it involves a judgment, like every single decision that a referee has to make. So it involves a judgment. 
you know, was it a clean catch? Did somebody else touch it in flight? Was it on, on or outside the 45 meter line? So there's a judgment there all the time. You know, the referee blows the whistle. Did he play on or did he stop to obviously, did he obviously stop to take a free kick or did he continue playing? So there's judgments to be made. That, that's absolutely the case. And, and again, we have to be honest, there are going to be errors in judgment. Mm. But, but, but all we can say from a refereeing point of view is the referees will be educated and they will make their, their best and, and fairest judgment. Maybe what might help in the future is that the pitches at club level might be marked a bit better. <laughs> 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 In, in terms of when he stops, yeah. yeah. And, and, and what do you mean by that, Alan? That that the player the player is used to taking. Yeah. 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 That's right. That's right. And and I suppose it it's just mm. it's important and. You know, they, and they're they're little, and, and it's great. You know, even for Morris, who'll be refereeing. Are you refereeing today, Morris? No, you're doing the line, line today. today. But you'll, you'll be refereeing next week. One assumes things like that are great feedback from you to Morris because he knows when he goes out with Ginny Mac. I remember them talking about that in Co Park, and that's something maybe that we that we watch out for. But it's important for for you in the positions you're in and coaching teams and involved with teams and so on and so forth. I suppose. All we can say to you from a referee and end, this is the rule. You know, this is how it's written. Uh, Morris didn't write it. I didn't write it. It was our membership essentially which, which wrote it. Um, this is the ball we have to play with. And I suppose all we can do, <coughs> as Morris has done to you today, is outline what we see as being, well, this is the mark and this isn't. And I suppose we would hope that that education will get back to the players. Uh, obviously you people who are here will be getting it back to the players in your clubs and in your counties and you know and again just to say to you and, and you know maybe say to Jimmy and maybe it might be announced later on the day this presentation or a similar presentation is, is on the, the website you know get, get your players to, to look at it and see it and look just going back to I actually done one with a club where it was from under 14 all the way up to senior and it was great because even, do you know what I mean, for the younger players, because I know this is all about coaching development today. So, like that club actually took it a little step further to bring someone in like me to talk about the rule from under 14 all the way up to senior, which is probably unprecedented, do you know what I mean? Which is a good way of looking at it. And if other clubs, going back to your point, if other clubs were to take it on board, as regards the playing rules and the knowledge of the playing rules, you probably wouldn't have as many situations or incidents on the field going forward, you know what I mean? And, 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 and maybe just to add to Morris, again, for any of you involved in teams, whether it's club or county teams or both, you know, people like Morris are more than happy to, to go and talk to squads. So if it's county squads mm. or club squads, you know, we've had a few calls and, and look at to be fair, <coughs> pardon me, clubs who are involved in all Ireland semi-finals over the next few weeks, uh, totally understandable that they need to get their thoughts around this. You know, we have referees going, we have a referee actually going to St. Vincent's this morning, as it happens, and, and that facility has been made available to all the other clubs. So if your club or county wants to get a presentation on the rule, talk to, I suppose, your, your referee administrator in your county, uh, get your club or, or or county officials to talk to the referee administrator. He'll organise a referee. There's inter-county referees in most counties, not all, but most. And you know, Morris has already talked about what he has done. Uh, I've talked about what we are doing with St Vincent's this morning. There's an inter-county referee going to St Vincent's, and and even if the county doesn't have an inter-county referee, the best referees in the county have got this training anyway, and we'll be happy to deliver it. So you know, that's that's all we can say to you. We're, we'll. We'll make the best message available.